Hi everybody! So, this is my first YouTube video. I've tried to film videos like five other times in the past, but there's always something wrong. Like, whether like technology wise, like I filmed one yesterday and the first entire clip that I took the quality was off and then my lips were so chapped for the rest of them that I literally couldn't bring myself to post it. So I'm trying again today, so hopefully somebody sees this, it doesn't just stay on my computer. Um, so today we are going hiking at, I think it's called Devil's Backbone, I've never been there before but it's in Colorado. and. So I just thought I'd take you guys along with me because it's going to be super fun. Um, I'm just wearing like leggings and sports bra and hiking boots and it's like 725 right now so I look a little crazy but I also just wanted to show you guys this is my favorite hiking bag. Um, it's Kodopaxi which I hadn't really heard of until I bought it. Um, but I always just carry food, and so like today I packed a sandwich, um, apple slices, and popcorn, just in case I decide to stay out longer, and I also kind of just like to, like, take my time and meander and just not, like, rush through it. Like, I think the, my sister told me that this trail is like two or three miles, but it's, gonna take me a long time because I like to sit I like to look at the view like I'm not doing this for like cardio even though it is a really good workout like even when you're going super slow so I have chapstick in my bag today also because um, I just moved from Ohio so the elevation I think is making me super dry and also just the weather change so I have a water bottle in my bag, I have a water bottle right here that I'm going to try to chug on the way, and then I have two in the back for my dog. It's actually my sister's dog, but for today he's mine. Um, I also usually like to bring some sort of hat, just because I've heard that this trail in specific doesn't have a lot of shade, and it's pretty dry, it's not like... A lot of greenery so that's what we have going on today I think it's like a 40 minute drive so I guess I will update you guys when I get there okay. so we made it um all I'm gonna do before I get out. I'm gonna leash him up. I have to go see if the bathrooms are really disgusting and then we're gonna be on our way. It's still pretty chilly out so um I do feel like maybe I should have brought a little sweatshirt for the first part of this but honestly like I get really hot and sweaty when I do stuff like this so, I definitely don't, oh. okay. Okay, crisis averted. Um, I'm going to, I guess just update you guys when something interesting happens. Okay, so I just got started and um, we're off to a pretty good start. It seems, Bo, I swear if you yank my arm one more time, you're going in the car. So, <laughs> it seems pretty flat, um, but it's really nice out. It's pretty cool, and it's, I don't know, it's just really awesome out here. There's a bunch of houses over in this area, so... Just gonna keep going. I am like five minutes in, so we have a couple miles to go. This is gonna be so fun. I'll update you guys when I get to another good view. Okay, so I made it to like the big thing. I think it's called the keyhole. 
Um, this is the view behind me. It's pretty cool. You can see all of the houses in the neighborhood and all of the houses are like beautiful and huge. And I'm just gonna flip the camera around and show you guys the view from here. So. And then this is the big rock. It's really cool. And then I'll back up a little further. So then when you come up here, And this rock is huge. It's hard to tell, obviously. But I'll have to get a better picture when I get down further, but super awesome. Okay guys, so we just made it back to the car and my final thoughts on this hike are it's really great if you get up in the morning early before the sun comes out and get it done. It's pretty quick. It probably only took me like an hour or so, maybe a little longer. Um, the sun peaked out for like 30 seconds at one point and I started sweating immediately. So. If the sun had been out for this entire hike, I would have definitely died. Um, even though it's a short hike, there's even signs that say, like, if it's over 90 degrees, don't bring your dog because it feels like it's 105 out there and the ground gets really hot. So, definitely a good hike to get out of the way in the morning or... When it starts cooling off today, I got really lucky. There was a really nice breeze. The sun was behind the clouds. But, um, yeah. So, definitely recommend just be careful in the heat. And there's also a bunch of signs and warnings about snakes. So, I didn't see one or anything today. But I did see a lot of, like, bugs. I don't know if they were, like, crickets or cicadas. Um, but they were, like, jumping like across the path in front of me and I got smacked by them a couple times and they were pretty big so that's the only thing but I'm sure that that's not year round so if you guys are still watching if anyone is still watching because this was my first video so thank you anyone who watched all the way through I definitely appreciate it um and I hope you all have a wonderful day bye